Where were you and what were you thinking when they called you that you got the part on Mission Impossible? <laughs> uh, I was in my kitchen at the time. I was cooking some dinner. Um, the phone call came. I'd had a meeting with uh, McHugh and Tom earlier that day and it was a really quick turnaround to get the call to say that they wanted me to be part of it. Um, the call comes, you do a little dance, pop the champagne and, and, and continue dancing <laughs> for a while, I guess. That's awesome. So now are you going to be typecasted as a villain? Now you're going to get more villain roles? Um, you know, I mean, I, I, going forward, I really try to keep my options open. Um, I really enjoy doing the villain stuff, you know. Everyone remembers a good villain. Um, but yeah, no, sure, you know, I, I, I do things right across the board. You know, I really try to keep it varied. For you, what was the hardest part about working on this film? Um, the hardest part, I guess, was, I, I guess, was the length of time, it, it, in all honesty, that it, I mean, we were part of this movie for, for, for close to a whole year, I'll be honest, with uh, Tom's accident, it was a bit of a hiatus, um, to, to keep that level of intensity to, you know, every day to hit the same bit, you know, it, it, it takes a lot more than people would imagine, maybe. Have you been called by Marvel or DC to do anything? Because you'd be a good, you know, character as well. Um, and they've got hundreds of characters left. Not yet. Uh, uh, well, no, 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 no. You know, this uh, things are in the works potentially. Oh, so yeah, right. yeah. Well, you know, it's right. just, just <laughs> I right. can't say too much at this stage. But yeah, no, you know. I felt it. I kind of felt the vibe. Like uh, I kind of felt the vibe. Uh, we own also Marvelous TV, so it's Brilliant. a superhero centric. So well, you can tell me it's either Marvel or DC. Mm, no, no, not at this stage, not at this stage, we'll see.